Hello. <clears throat> Uh, my name is Melissa May. I'm supposed to be doing Paint with May, but I couldn't figure out how to get my laptop recording. Um, it didn't seem like the button was working. And um, hey guys! So, uh, just using my phone. Today we're going to be doing a stained glass project. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, <laughs> hi! Hi Connor and Olivia! Hey! Hope you guys are doing good. All right, all set up. Great. This is gonna be fun, guys. <laughs> Can you guys see? All right, hi, Vanessa. <laughs> Couldn't get my laptop to work. Um, so my phone's gonna have to do. Uh, All right, guys, so today we're doing a stained glass project. It's going to be super fun. Uh, this is my sample. Ooh, really cool. Um, I also, if you don't have like a canvas and paint, you could also use paper. I did some examples. Uh, this is a tree and like the sun and the flowers. All right, hi, Violet. All right, so glad you guys could join me. If you wanna do like a heart, you can do like a heart, a random shape, the sun. I don't really like how the sun turned out, but. Uh, <laughs> hey, Sean. And you could do just random square. So this is a really cool project like for all ages. Uh, the the more lines you put, like the more complicated it can be. So for the little ones, we'll just do less lines. So what you're gonna need is some uh, acrylic paint or craft paint, uh, canvas or paper will work as well. Uh, some brushes, a cup of water, uh, paper towels, and uh, it'd be really convenient if you had like a marker, like a black marker, but you could just use a pencil at first, and it's going to be great, guys. This is so much fun. Thank you for joining me. All right, so first, what we're going to do is we're going to draw what we're going to paint first. I'm going to use a, a black marker, but feel free to use a pencil first and then a black marker, or um, we're going to be doing the black lines at the very end anyway, so. So a very simple little landscape. Let me adjust this here. Eek. Okay, so a very simplified landscape. Uh, let's see, can you see here? We're gonna start off with doing a line at the bottom. It's okay if your lines aren't super straight. Um, cause it's kind of cool that way. It looks more, um, like a stained glass. So this is going to be the, the grass. Then I'm just going to, we're going to do a, a rectangle. This is going to be the tree trunk. All right, guys. Um, then for the tree, I'm going to do an oval. Feel free to, um, if you want to do like, sometimes the tree looks like, um, where they're round like that, you can do that. You can make your tree your own, but I'm just gonna do a, uh, an oval and then another oval. And then in the corner, very simplified tree. I mean, sun, <laughs> um, just right here, and then the lines, and then if, you can leave it at that, or you can add like some clouds. Feel free to make this your own. Um, and then uh, if you wanna add flowers, I'm just gonna do some more circles at the bottom. And another circle in the middle for the middle. Or you could do tulips. You can get creative, but if this, the more simplified the shape, the better. So once you have this drawn, we're just going to do two lines going from the top to the bottom. 
just pick a spot top to bottom all the way down one line and then another line and depending on how big your your canvas is you could do um or paper you can do another line uh, i'm gonna do one more line right here and then you're gonna do two more lines going from side to side so i want one line to go through here so one here and one here and if you want to add another one, you can add another one at the bottom. I'm going to leave it at that to make it more simple. So, once you're done with this, we're going to grab our paint and our paint brushes. And we're going to start filling in the colors. By the way, you could you can also um like later on in the week if you want to do some other projects, you could do like a heart, you could do a a car you could, do, uh, you could do anything you could just do shapes you could do a circle you could just do lines super fun okay so back to the tree we're gonna start off I'm gonna start off with yellow so I have all my little colors here um, it's okay if you have more colors like if you have a bunch of different greens or a bunch of different blues or like pinks and reds or purples um that's awesome too but uh i only have these colors so i'm just going to kind of mix the um the colors on my plate so i'm going to start off with this the sun i can't see my sun there she is she's so beautiful so i'm going to do yellows inside of the sun, but I'm gonna do different kinds of yellows. So you can just use the plain old yellow here. So I'm gonna fill in this shape with the yellow. It's okay if you go over any of the lines because at the end, we're gonna go back over these lines. Now for this little shape here, I want to do a slightly different yellow. So I'm gonna mix it with white and that's gonna make a lighter yellow. Maybe more white. Can you guys see? Ooh. <laughs> this is weird with my phone. So I'm also, on. Uh, other parts of yellow that I want to do are with this, these flowers. So I'm just going to do dab here, a dab here. I want different yellow in the other ones here, here, see the yellow, here. So that's the only yellow I am going to do on my painting. Okay, guys. Hope everybody's doing good. You could also use do another yellow, uh, more of like an orangey color um, with orange. You could also do some of the squares with orange, depending on how complicated your, your painting is, but, or adding a little bit of red, a little bit of red to your yellow and it'll make a orangey color. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit there. Okay guys, so next color, um, I'm gonna do red. So actually scratch that, I'm gonna do blue. <laughs> so for all the sky areas, I'm gonna fill in these squares with the blue, with different blue colors. So. I just have one blue color here, but if you have like a turquoise or a light blue or dark dark blue, you can use all kinds of blues. So I'm just going to use just this blue here for some squares. So right next to the, so this little shape here, I'm going to fill it in with the blue. And I'm going to use that same blue for various other squares. So I'm going to use the same color blue, like a lot. Mm. Another one here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna make some more blues. I'm gonna 
mix the blue, you can add blue, white to the blue and that'll make a lighter blue. Sorry, here you go. So I'm gonna use this lighter blue. It's for, for some other sky squares. Um, you can add more, more white and that'll make it even, an even lighter blue. Add more white will make it even lighter. It's so light. Or if you already have the color pre-made, that's amazing too. If you accidentally color in wrong square, like for the trunk, it's not the end of the world. Just let it dry and you can paint over it later. All right, she's looking good. And for these other two squares, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, add a little bit of yellow. So I'm gonna get a little bit of yellow and you might already have this color. It's more of like a, um, a turquoise blue or teal. Ugh. If it looks too green, don't fret. <laughs> just add more blue. I'm just gonna add more white. everybody's <laughs> all right I hope everybody's can you guys see what I'm doing let's see this is what I've done so far isn't it beautiful I just know you guys are doing awesome all right back to the painting let's do let's do the greens next so I'm gonna use a different brush All right, so next, I wanna do the grass and the tree. So I'm gonna mix, I have a green already here. Can you guys see it? So I'm just gonna use that green for some, so see how my, my circle, it's cut up? So I'm just gonna use this color green in this little shape. It's like cut up into little smaller shapes. And I'm also going to do this little square, that green color too. Can you see? These look like little eggs. My flowers look like eggs right now, which is, that's okay. That's cool. Okay, so if you don't have green, don't not fret. I, uh, if you have blue, and yellow, you can make your own green. Like so, take some yellow, take some blue. So this has a lot of blue, so it's gonna be really, really dark. It's like a, like a Christmas dark green. Um, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use it right here for the middle square. I'm gonna use it right here as well. And all the way over here. If you want it to look more limey, you can add more yellow. Lots of yellow. Ooh, isn't that pretty, guys? It's like a tennis ball yellow. So I'm going to do that and some more. Tree. Once again, don't worry about if you have like, if it's not like a solid color. It kind of looks better, I think like lots of greens. So, and then also white. If you mix white with these greens, it will make a light green. It's like a minty green. Not, not particularly, in, I, it's all right. I'm gonna use it. And I'll make this one lighter. And I'm gonna make this one lighter. All right. All right. 
Next color. Let's see. So if you have a brown, you can use the brown and you can mix it with, um, if you mix it with blue, it'll make it darker. If you mix it with white or yellow, let me see. Sorry guys. <laughs> I don't have a brown, so I'm gonna have to make my own brown. I'm gonna have to make my own brown. Um, basically, I'm just gonna mix a little bit of blue, a little bit of red. It's gonna make purple. And then if I add, if I swirl all these colors together, it's gonna make this mud color. All right, sorry. Or you could just paint this part black, but also work. I'm mm, gonna add a little bit of red, so it's more of like a reddish. Yes. Colors. You can do the flowers whatever color you want. I'm gonna do red. So I just have a red here, so I'm just gonna use that. Do, do, do. If you add white to red, it will make pink. So I'm gonna use some of that. What other kind of reds can you use? If you add yellow, it's gonna make a warm pink. It's almost orange, I like it. And if you add white, it will make a lighter. Peachy. A little bit over here. All right. Can you guys see? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I wasn't planning on using my phone. All right. She's looking awesome. So if you guys decided to do the gray in the clouds, go ahead and um, I'm going to mix a little bit of grays. Do you guys know what two colors make gray? You got it, black, black and white. My white's all dirty. So, just a little bit, a little, little bit of black will make a really dark gray. You can also paint your cloud, some of the, the cloud parts, uh, white. Once you guys are done with all of that, um, you can either wait until your painting is dry and then paint the the black lines over again, or you could, um, if your your painting's already dry, you could do it with a marker, or you could use paint and a smaller brush. So I'm going to paint the lines back over with just black. Let me see if I can record this. So just gonna go back over the shape. All right. So guys, take your time. I'm just kind of um, rushing through because everybody works at different speeds. Um, this should be super fun. Take your time, make it your own. Okay guys, I really wanna see what you guys are doing. I bet you guys are making some cool, cool stuff. I love to do art. I love spreading the word. Since we're all cooped up inside, it's good to make some good art. So, um, my name is Melissa May, and this is Paint With May, and um, I'm gonna try and do this live thing uh, every Tuesday at noon, so tune in. Maybe next time I'll get my laptop to work. And you guys have fun, and uh, I'd love to see what you guys are making. Um, try, different, uh, try different stained glass, different shapes, and I will see you guys next week. Uh, Feel free to send me any images of the cool stuff you guys made. I really like to see. Um, 
Adios, guys. You guys have a great day.